There's been a number of times I've come pretty close to buying the farm or whatever they call it. This fall, at the end of fishing season, when the water was getting pretty cold, it was in the 30s, and I was up in my fishing area all by myself. You know, that time of year, anytime I pull up to my fish wheel or pull up to the bank or something like that, I'm really careful about tying my boat up. So when I pulled up to my fish wheel, which I was breaking all apart, it wasn't operating anymore, it was, it was uh, against the shore. Usually just take a clip and I clip it onto this uh, post. But I said, no, I better loop the loop over it. Anyway, a boat came up river. It was, one, it was a late hunter and he was coming up from up river and he drove really close to my fish wheel on the shore where I was working on and it threw a big wake and it lifted that loop off of that post. And then all of a sudden, I noticed my boat's drifting away from the fish wheel. And I'm going, Christ, I, that thing's gonna just, that thing could float past Tana. That could go 60 miles down river. And at the last minute I say, oh God, it's gonna be cold water, but I'll go in. I go in the water and I start swimming out towards the boat. And almost instantly my breath got cut in half. And then my legs start to cramp out as I'm, you know, getting out in the river and the boat's moving almost as fast as I'm swimming. And I notice how far I am from shore. And I realize that I'm almost the distance from shore. I'm so cold, I'm not gonna be able to get back. You know, I, I got, I, there's no way I'm gonna get up in that boat, so I'm gonna die. If I, you know, try to make it, I'm gonna die for sure. So I start turning around and I, st I look at how far it is to shore. And I was just thinking, there's a very, very good chance I'm not gonna make it. This is, this is it. This is the end of the road for me. I had to just basically float in the current and then I could finally do a little bit of this and then I'd float a little bit more and my legs are so cold, they're straight down in the water. I can't have them. I couldn't kick with them hardly at all. And you know, I've had near death experiences like that where you know, you have close calls. But that time when I was out in the river this fall, and that was just this long, drawn out. I mean, I don't know how long it lasted, but it, it was a, a, a fair amount of time to get back in.